Hi guys, welcome to third grade, chapter 11, lesson 8. We are going to go ahead and get started with number 2. We are using the distributive property to find our area now. Okay, so all we're doing is we're splitting them up into numbers that are easy to multiply. Okay, so what I did is each one of those is 3. I can't change that going down. Okay, but I can break up this 9 into 5 and 4. So 3 times 5 is 15, and 3 times 4 is 12. So now when I add those two, I get 7, 2, so 27 square units. Okay, we're going to try that one more time. Okay, this one, it's oddly shaped. So we're going to break it up into 5 by 5, which is 25, and then 2 times 3 which is 6. So when I add those two together, 25 and 6, I get 31. Okay? Alright. So now, you guys are going to do number 4. You are also going to do 5 and 6. You guys can totally do that. You're just breaking them up. You guys have plenty of practice now. Okay? We're going to go over onto the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. Okay? And we're going to go down and do the spiral review. Naomi needs to solve 28 divided by 7. What related multiplication fact can she use? Well, 7 times, and I know that 7 times 4 is 28, which is also true of 4 times 7. So you can use either of those. Okay? All right. Karen drew a triangle with a side length of 3 centimeters, 4 centimeters, and 5 centimeters. What's the perimeter? Remember, perimeter, we're just adding them up. So 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 5 is 12 centimeters. Now, we did not multiply centimeters by centimeters, so it is not centimeters squared. It is just centimeters. Okay? All right, the rectangle is divided into equal parts. What is the name of the equal parts? Well, there's one, two, three, four parts, so it is fourths. Done. Okay, now we are going to use our inch ruler, so the bigger side of a ruler, and we're going to measure this, which is right about two inches. All done, guys. All right. Thanks for hanging out for 11.8. Come on back for 11.9. See you soon.